on second half of momentum into 2023. For the first time since the last rebuild that Judd Hoyer helped oversee on the north side of Chicago, the Cubs have missed the playoffs for multiple seasons in a row. The reality stung as the team's president of baseball operations watched the wild card series game this past weekend. During a wide-ranging, hour-long discussion with reporters Monday morning at Wrigley Field, Hoyer re- reiterated he, that he absolutely wants to build a team capable of competing for the playoffs in 2023. The Cubs will continue to keep an eye on long-term vision, but the club has also set things up for what could be the, an aggressive offseason of additions. The improved internal depth and run prevention, led by stellar pitching in a 39-31 second half has generated what Hoyer describes as a real sense of momentum behind the scenes. Here are four highlights from Hoyer's end-of-the-season press conference. The Cubs will definitely make a qualifying offer to Contreras. Hoyer said the Cubs will make the expected decision to extend free agent catcher Wilson Contreras a one-year qualifying offer after the World Series. That step will not will net Chicago a compensatory pick in 2023 MLB draft should Contreras sign with the new team. Before the season ended, Contreras said he will have to consider the offer. The Cubs target intelligence spending and free agency. There is growing sense that the Cubs will be players at the top of the free agent market. That could include going after help for the top of the rotation and pursuing one of the blockbuster shortstops who could be on the market. Alexander Bogars, Carlos Correa, Dansby Swanson, or Trey Turner. Hoyer would not go into specifics, but mapped out his thinking on that front. Front office has taken steps on an extension front. Without getting into specifics, Hoyer acknowledged that the Cubs have started to lay the foundation of her extensions with some select players. Two candidates would seem to be left fielder Ian Happ and shortstop Nico Orner. Happ has one more year of control left via arbitration, while Orner is entering the final first arbitration eligible offseason. Cubs have clear needs to address. Offensive power. We have a little quicker strike offense than we were. I like the fact that we're making more contact. I did think that were there were times we grinded out at bats, but we just lacked the ability to pull away. Rotation help. It's important that we continue to have quality innings, I guess I would say. The pressure on how I would define the top of the rotation, we're actively looking for quality innings. Bullpen arms. There is a long-term goal of getting to a place where we're just able to build bullpen and bullpens internally. We're just not there yet. So yeah, I think there will certainly be a focus bringing in a veteran presence. Layers of depth. There were periods this year that we weren't prepared for. We weren't ready for that. We we had too many injuries. We didn't have the depth to handle it. And that is going to be significant focus. Those have been your sports updates from Tyler Moore's podcast. Thanks for watching.